My name is Xavier and welcome back to me cooking salted insect meat into delicious, delicious cram cakes. Sometimes I wonder about the things that I say when I'm recording episodes. In any event, uh, I know that there is going to be a raid in 3 to 10 seconds after I unpause the game. So we're going to be not prepared for that at all. The reason, I, <clears throat> the reason I know that's the case is because I was testing out some new mods last night. And there was a raid in like the first like 10 seconds just trying to try to figure something out here. So let's just go over quickly the mods before I unpause and begin the episode. Today's goal in the episode is to do all of the things that were in yet or not yesterday's, but the last episode. Because we didn't do anything. We didn't accomplish a single thing. I want to make weapons, make armor, make some defenses, and get some food going. Uh, just like just like last episode, and then maybe if we get some time, dig this out. Uh, but before we get into fighting this raid, let's take a look here at the mod. So first and foremost, I thought to myself, all right, we're going to build a cookery place in here, and then a dining room, and then a bunch of rooms, and then eventually this will become our inn, and we'll move into this mountain. And I thought, what's the one more thing we really need to do before we begin phase two, which is moving our bedrooms into this mountain? And that is build a really cool forge. Like, dwarves need a forge. A hot, fiery forge. And I saw this over here, and I was like, you know what? That'd be really cool if we put in some statues of the four founding uh, dwarven colonists right here in these locations and had, like, a cool little corridor going into the dwarven forge. Then I thought, wouldn't it be super cool if we could get some lava? And there is indeed a mod I found here in the terraforming thing where we can build lava. I won't use it other than just decorating. Uh, but you can do all the stuff here you wanted to do. You could put in like deep water and ice and all kinds of weird stuff. But yeah, we'll use that just to make kind of like a fiery doom forge. It's going to be amazing. Uh, but I tested this out here to see how it works. And then by the time it literally took for a mooflet here to build these four tiles, we got raided. Uh, I wasn't planning on playing last night. I just wanted to test all the mods. But anyway, that one is one of the things I got. The next thing, of course, is the Medieval Times mod is now updated. So we've got all the cool things from that once again. Although I won't be using embrasures. Uh, but there's a lot of really cool decorative things from that. And then the colored mood botters is finally updated, which is awesome. So I can quickly, at a glance, see how everyone's mood is doing. And then, oh, the most important one of all, melee hunt is now enabled at long last. So I can I can continue the melee only Doravin merciless challenge. Uh, no more bows. No more bows. Some of you in the comments said something about dwarves using crossbows. What are you talking about? Dwarves don't use crossbows. That's like something lame DMs invented or whatever. Just so that dwarves didn't get wrecked all the time by elven arrows. I mean, if you look at a frigging arrow, just look at an arrow. It, it, like, imagine painting an arrow with, like, pastel watercolors, right? Then paint an elf with pastel watercolors next to it. I guarantee you the two of those things will look identical when you're done. Dwarves ain't using no arrows, and they ain't using no elves. Period. So we're going to transition to hunting. As soon as I can build a bunch of axes for everybody here with Clog, that'll be fantastic. And what else we got? There was one other mod here. Oh, I think the Grow Zones thing is now fixed. Uh, we got fences installed now as well. I could use those, although Medieval Times also comes with their own fences, which are little little pretty fence things like right there. Uh, in any event, there's something else. I forget what it is, but let's shut off the planning mode here. I just wanted to show everyone what I was going to do eventually with making a Dwarven Lava Forge. Uh, and that's it. So back to the game, Eater. In about 16 seconds. Doop -a -doop. It'll be a giant raid. And then after that, we're going to have to figure out uh, what to do. Or actually, first of all, we're going to have to defeat the raid. It was actually nine tries, people, when I saw it last night. So... Yeah, I think we could beat nine tries, people. I mean, it shouldn't be, you know, the, the most difficult thing in the world. Clog, what's going on over here? You're making a Dwarven Battle Axe. You're at 62 work left. All right. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is not at all what happened last time. Good God. Last time was nine tribesmen. This time it's 14 Dwarven Bandits? Wow. Dwarf Thief Kermis, wife of Dwarf Villager Clog. Well, that gives us something to shoot for, right? There she is. That looks... Wait a minute. Oh, no, that's not her. Kermis? Where's where's Kermis? There we go. There's Kermis Clog. We found your female friend. We found her. Boy, I want to capture her, but there's a 66% chance she's going to die on downing. So... Wow, look at these guys. Every one of them came with a stabby stabby. And they're attacking immediately. All right. Well, this is going to be way... This could actually end the campaign right here. But let's see if we can't 
make it not end the campaign. I'm going to come down and mount. Clog, you keep working on this like the wind. Like, prioritize smithing at Limestone Forge. Just keep on doing it. Oh, wait a minute. No, because what you're going to do is actually... Let's put the Dwarven Battle Axe higher. Great. Clog, prioritize. There we go. Just stay on it. Let's get Mooflet over here. Can we build a couple of traps? Super fast. That's our only hope. There is so many 14 dwar Are you kidding me? Steel traps. Yeah, that's what I want. Let's put a steel trap here and a steel trap there. Uh, and a steel trap here. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, Sweet, if you wouldn't mind coming up here to prioritize working on that. Move flat, prioritize working on that. Sure. Sweetie, you still not do? Yeah, you're already working on that. Beautiful. Kraus, would you like to take the middle one? Beautiful. Everybody busy? Everyone except for Kraus is busy. Can we maybe build four of these somehow? I doubt it, but we'll give it a whirl. Kraus, come over here to prioritize. Go, 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 go. Whoa, whoa, what's that noise? What just happened? Oh! There's an enemy squirrel! What the freaking... I forgot about that. There we, I, I did it! <laughs> That's how I ended the episode last time. All right, now, back to what I was doing. Mounting the Titan. God, what a name for a war boar. Titan the war boar. All right, and down they come, friends. Down they come. Clog, you almost done. 39 work, 38. I don't think you're going to get that done at all. Kraus, can you not... Oh, you won't do it. Construction. Prioritize delivering. Okay, Swede's actually working on that. Okay, Swede, will you will you build it? Yes, you will. You guys get this these things done? Probably not. I'm barely getting in. This is gonna be really difficult. All right, I'm on the board. Beautiful. Let's get me up here, ready to go. Swede, you don't have time. Get back. Oh, you're already. Oh, you fail. Okay, Swede, just work on this one then. We don't have time. We don't have time. Here they come. Here they come into the left a little bit for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think we're gonna get this done. How long until we're good over here? 15 hours. 15 work. 14 work. I'm guessing that's ours. Come on, guys. Come on. You can get it. You can get it. If we can isolate them. Do we have any weapons down here? No, none. Not even a one. Swede, okay, you're still down here. Cross, we're going to need you. No, stop sowing the fields, Cross. Stop sowing the fields. Work left six, five, four, three, two. I don't even know if it's done yet. What are these guys doing? Are they going to go attack? Equipped. Mail door. I don't know what they're doing. Well, I guess we'll see soon. Okay, we might get these traps. We might get one of these traps done. Maybe I can move myself over here at least. As soon as it gets done. Mmm, doesn't look like it. Do we get... Yes, we got this done. Clog, get on alert. Equip the steel axe. Move it. Get it done. Oh, God. Get in there, Klaus. Oh, God, no. We got one. We got one done. One and done. Alert punch. Come on, guys. Swede, no time for this. No time. Get actually back inside, Swede. Oh, God, sweet, you're not going to... Ooh, did you see me stampede that guy to the ground? Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, counter miss. Go. Oh, no, oh, no. Swede was taken down already. Woo, that was fast. Swede, you going to be all right, buddy? Woo. No, he's not. He got cut in the head with an axe, and he's alive still. Oh, no. Please tell me Karmus didn't die. No! Clog, we murdered. Oh, no. Clog's unhappy about this. <laughs> Look at the little sad Clog. All right, sorry, Clog, but it had to happen. It had to happen. Let's come here and kill Arena. Come on, guys. Get the Arena. Get down there. Boom. Nice, nice. Stunner, thwapper, bapper. Beautiful. What are these guys doing? Oh, now they're coming back over here. Uh... Nice! She's down. Okay, if you guys wouldn't mind zooming over there as fast as possible. No, stop, stop. Me, stop. It's not necessary. Just zoom over there. Beautiful! This is what I want. I want them to hit this trap. And then we'll just thwop right onto them. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, Clog, if you wouldn't mind. Maybe? Doubt it? Maybe? Oh no, Clog. Get inside. Get inside, buddy. Get inside, not safe. Oh god, they're gonna chase you! Keep going! Keep going, run! How are we gonna do this? How many raiders remain? Ten. We gotta kill three of them somehow. Clog, they're coming after you! Oh! They decided to kidnap Swede, did they? That's actually really good for- Okay, well, not really. Where are they going? Okay, you guys can fall back a little bit. We wanna just make sure we ambush them so they can't kidnap Swede. Okay, for whatever reason, Clog, you're gonna have to defend- Nice! Chop! Nice chop! Chop again? Nice, Clog. All right, Clog, come back out here and take down Dwoli. You guys wouldn't mind running up there. They're really trying to get out of here with Swede, but we're not going to let them in the slightest. I'm going to just, like, do some zoomies. Oh, Swede is no longer capable of walking. Run, Swede, run! 
Run for the hills! Get over here. Go equip that dwarven walking axe. Get it, sweet. Get it. Walk to one after Dwoli. This is... This is... I thought they were going to kidnap whoever they can and leave. They're not doing that. They're not doing that. Okay, what if the both of you guys... No, oh, just keep running. Keep running. Not safe. Not safe. You guys keep running. I'm going to run over here. Okay, what's happening down here now? Clog is working on Dwoli. Swede is about to pick up his weapon. Oh, he got it. He got it. Beautiful. You guys keep moving over there. I'm going to swing down here really quick. And see if... Oh, wait. No, this is Karmis. Karmis isn't dead. Was there two Karmises? Damrin. There was! There's two- Oh, but this is the one. Husband Clog. What the- What's the chances of them having two Karmises? That's insane. Wow. Sweet, you got this, buddy. Slice, Karmis. Slice. Okay, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna help you. Don't worry about it. Clog, you got this, too. Take down Dwoli. Nope, Swede's back on the ground. Swede's about to die, probably, most likely, almost certainly. They're trying to- Oh. Clog is now on the ground. They're gonna try to kidnap Clog. Oh, crash! You're not getting out of here to lie, I'll tell you what. They are, they're trying to they're trying to kidnap Clog now. Guys, take down Clog. What are they doing? This is insane. Nice! I knocked down whoever his face was. However, we got four. <laughs> what the hell? Run, you stupid dwarves! Get out of my map! Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Let's go take down Dwoli. I got this. Uh, you ain't getting out of here, friend. Flap! Nice. Well, somehow we managed to survive that. Although, quite frankly, I'm not even sure if that matters because at this point, I'm gonna have to rescue Clog. Let's get me off alert. Have me rescue Clog. Uh, Kraus. Death in 14 hours. No. Mooflet, you got no wounds. Come rescues. We need armor and weapons so badly. Oh, we need them so badly. This is so strange. Am I still attacking Dwoli? I did, yeah, just briefly there for like two seconds. Now, we've also got Dwoli's. Wow, right arm cut off, right kidney destroyed. Poor guy. Hey, wait a minute, though. Does he have any armor we could steal? He's... No, he's got nothing. Dwarven tunic, cloth, pants. We don't care none about that. Krauss, you, you deal with the fires? What about Rena over here? Bird skin, dwarven tunic. Hmm, interesting. Well, I mean, we could yoink it. I don't think we're going to have time for that, to be honest. Now, how did... Oh, my God. What's this fire? I'm, I'm putting the fire out. Did they light that fire? Titan, are you all right? Yeah, he got wounded. Actually, he didn't get wounded at all. We got three hours here. I gotta put this fire out first. Okay, beautiful. Now I'm gonna tend to clog. I have to do it by hands because we don't have any medications whatsoever. Who is our next best doctor after this? After me, it's Swede, then Kraus. All right, Kraus, you're gonna have to come in here like yesterday. You're gonna go rest? No, I don't think so. I think you're gonna come over here and tend to Swede. Mooflet, you go do whatever it is you need to do. Clog, you're gonna be all right? Death in three hours. Swede, death in three hours. I think we got it. I think we got it. The great thing about this is I don't have to worry about infections because dwarfs are like immune to everything. Woo! Okay, now we also got new uh, axes everywhere. You guys haven't noticed. Axes for days! <laughs> well, they made a tactical error there trying to steal whoever they could and leaving. I will tell you what. Thanks, Clog. Thanks for making that weapon right at the brink of like the time we needed that to get done. Sweet, you're going to be all right there. Yes, death in three hours, up to four hours. Kraus is working on it. That was a close one. I gotta tell you, the fact that dwarves have this uh, ridiculous immunity to blood filtration, it's so relieving after playing the last episode. Kraus himself actually needs to be patched up pretty badly here. He's gonna be dead in ten hours. Yeah, I mean, the last, not, did I say episode? I meant the last series. The last series with all the infections in the jungle? Ugh, that was such a nightmare. Okay, Kraus, come on. Just just go to bed. Cannot assign to construction. Just go to bed, Kraus. Can I just put you on alert, off alert? Great. Where am I now? I'm down here butchering. That's a great thing to do, but honestly, don't arrest. There's 10 to Kraus. I want him to... Yeah, let's take care of his, his bleeding. There we go. Beautiful. We're all going to be all right, friends. Mooflet came in here to help tend on some cracks. Ooh, sweet, got cut in the head. That was bad. We need armor and weapons for days. For days. Wow. Okay. Let's. There's a lot of stuff we need to do right now and things we need to get caught up on. Let's go through it one by one. Medical emergency on Swede. We did everything we could for him. His, his blood loss is extremely low. However, his consciousness is 10%. Wow, if that goes to zero, I think he actually dies. We gotta make sure he gets fed. He's he's okay for now. Everyone's got the food that they need, so that's good. 
We should be okay on Swede. Meteor, whoa, I just think I saw that right there in the corner. Whoop, there it is. What's this bunch of iron ore? We don't care too much about that right now. Major break risk on Kraus, why? Probably a million reasons. Serious pain, observed corpse, awful barracks, unsightly environment, disturbed sleep. You know what we can do? One of the things I used to love about this, Hall, this is the best thing about this mod. Gather, curry, oh, ice, oh, you know what happened? Because I installed the Medieval Times mod, there's a whole new batch of priorities. And they get lumped in on a generic three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Disease infection on Swede. Let's have me. Where am I? Feeding insect meat to Titan. Probably not the worst. I sh well, now I'm going to go rest. Let's have me come up here and tend to Swede. I'm sure even, even by hand, he'll be fine. All right. Now, let's go backwards a little bit and go through this entire list here. Then I want to deal with corpses. Doctor. Is no, there's nothing new here, I don't think, from medieval times. Patience the same. Warden? Is anything new in Warden? No. Animal handling? No, it's all the same. Negotiate's probably the same. Cooking? Yes, there's a bunch of new things in cooking. Prepare food at station. Yeah, I remember that. Hunting? Anything new in there? Nope. Construction? Nope. I'm just looking for threes right now. Mining. Here we go. Cut stone mining. Let's bump this back so it matches all the other things here. This is just adjusting for medieval times, additional things. Yeah, five, six, beautiful on the smithing, same deal on the tailoring. Because there's like separate... Ooh, what's this art? Oh, I see. Yeah, that was... uh, Compose art at desk and also art at stations. I remember that. Okay. Cleaning's the same, research. Research should be the same, but no, it's actually not. In Infuse self-replicating nanites. Apparently, that's something added by Medieval? I don't know about that. And then we got create ice blocks, so that's probably going to be a six. Pretty much all around. And then what is this thing over here? Gather ice blocks. Okay, yeah, we're going to leave all that on a six. All right. What is this? Do bonfire bills. Well, we don't really have any bonfires. I guess you can make bonfires to dispose of corpses. Smelt items. I'm pretty sure that's a Medieval thing. I wouldn't have put that on a three. And, okay, now we're adjusted for medieval time. But one thing I do want to do, load caravan, we always put that on a one. That is, like, the de facto, everyone in the universe, I don't want to mess with caravans, like, ever. Strip corpses is basically going to be on a two. Although, thinking about it now, I should probably put this on a two, to be honest. Load transporters. Not sure I know what that means, but we're going to do that on a two all around. Oh, what's this? Visitors have arrived. No, let's review everybody until I have until I have beds. Unload carriers. Okay, two. To me, this sounds like something related to caravanning, so I want to make sure that's good. Rearmed turrets. I th think I don't know if that matters for traps or medieval or what. Do bonfire hall corpses. Now this is something I want super high on basically everybody, like literally the whole the whole base. Smelt items, open containers, refuel fuelable buildings. Yeah, I really want the corpses like ran out of here. Good. That's all taken care of. Now, so we should haul all those guys down into the corpse pile, like, right away. Ah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's take an eye on Swede over here. Swede apparently already got fed, which is fantastic. How's this infection doing in his head? 2646, he's fine. Rena hits Swede with a slash from her dwarf walking axe's edge. Woo-hoo! That had to hurt. That had to hurt, Swede. Good thing you got a thick dwarven skull, huh? Kraus and Clog. You know what we could do, actually? We could spruce this place up a little bit. Well, first of all, let's make everybody on fight mode now. I, re I really do like the fighting. So we'll switch this over to attack. Boom. Beautiful. Oh, you know what? This is... Okay, Clog's the new guy in town. For this campaign, I have yet to set the defaults to regular meds. Good. I always do that in all my medieval playthroughs. Uh, so we don't... The rare times we get those good meds, we can save them for later. Another thing I'm realizing we absolutely have... It's already been 20 minutes, good lord. We gotta forbid all this stuff for now. It's just, it's too much. I wanna do it, but obviously there's other more important things right now. Cross, what's your needs right now? Serious pain, awful batteries. We can make this batter much better. What kind of like nice sorts of stuff? We have a salted pot, and a, that's different from a plant pot. Hmm. We have, we have a chandelier in here, which is nice. We could at least put in a couple of plant pots, right? Just at least two. And then I'm thinking... There's something over here for floors. More floors, smooth surface. If we smoothed the bedroom, at least the awful barrack would get reduced. Like all the walls, all the floors. Just make that a... This actually makes a pretty big difference on the, the beauty. I think it goes from negative one to two, if I remember correctly. 
Now, I don't know exactly where that's going to be. Is that under construction? Smooth walls. Yes, it is. All right, so we need to find someone to do this. Who is the best constructor? It looks like Mooflet. Let's get smooth walls and floors up to like a four for her. So we have at least someone working on that. Beautiful. Now, next big issue we're going to have, we have no food incoming. Over here, we've got heal root. This I wanted to switch over to heal root as well. I know we can't do it yet, but we'll get there soon. Now, someone had mentioned in the comments what I should do is actually put a roof up and then grow some herbs in one of these cubbies, like right down here. But I, better than that, actually, I kind of want to do the same thing, but do it up here so it's much bigger, and this will take care of our food forever. Oh, bounded roof, bounded build roof area mod is now functional as well. So that's really helpful. You can just do cool stuff like this. Can we ignore that roof area? Yes, beautiful. Do something like that. Or do I actually have to do this? I don't I don't remember exactly how it has to be. Looks like we're going to need at least two pillars in here to make this work. Let's put in like a wooden pillar here and a wooden pillar there. Awesome. And then we'll come up here and we'll do grow zone into basically like half the area. And we'll do another one down there into this half of the area. Beautiful. And then here we can do earth bread and here... We can do honey root. Now that's going to take a little bit of a while. We got to chop all these trees, put up those roofs, put in these walls, put up some more roofs, plant all those things. But once that's done, food should be taken care of. Ooh, you guys see that flash? Looks like we got a lightning storm on our hands. Let's take a look at grow zones. Now we got cotton there, heal root, heal root. Oh, someone else had mentioned what I should do down here is do dandelions. A lot of people have mentioned this in the past, like dandelions are the best thing for animals. They're just like the most efficient way to feed them. Let's get this zone out of there. The rest of so instead of doing hay grass, I'm actually gonna try it. We'll do dandelions in there. We'll see how that works out. Down here we had more heel root, which might be excessive. Let's actually do hops down here. Hop plant. We need we need the beers, friends. Dwarves need the beers. And that seems to be more heel root. Okay. So what else we got? Low medicine. Well, one thing we can do about that is grab all of these guys and we could do a little harvest there. Colonist needs treatment. Swede, what's the treatment you need here? Is your infection still? Tending expires in two hours. Four. Oh, you just blew right past that, Swede. Nice work. I think I'll automatically get this taken care of over here. Prioritize tending to Swede. Where is Mooflet? She's relaxing socially. Not a bad idea. I'm curious what she's going to... She's going to go build a roof because she's on construction, which is actually going to take a very long time thinking about it now. Can we get her off of construction unless her construction's particularly... No, it is particularly high. Hmm. Hmm. Two, 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 four, four, four. Construct stuff, construct stuff. And I really want her... Let's just do a temporary five. I want someone else, like me, to take care of these things. I want her to get in here and smooth all this stuff, ideally. Looks like she's going to go haul these corpses. I'm going to go up there and chop down those trees now, start putting in the roofs. Beautiful. I'm sure clogged or uh, sweet's gonna be perfectly fine. God, Mooflet had a huge haul there for that insect, which are all just getting wasted. Compulsion on me. I'm excessively cleaning my surroundings as I observed a corpse. By the way, did we move all the corpses? No. We have not done that. We should get to it soon. Hopefully, like right now, because there's a lot of. Look at all the fires we gotta deal with. There's too many things. No, let's, let's ignore it. There's no spaceship in this. Just ignore that. Rain! We really need you. Look at that. The alpacas out here are actually eating the corn. Same with the pigs. It's amazing. All right, let's keep an eye on Mooflet here. She's number one, beating out the fires. Yeah, I suspect that we're going to be beating out fires for days. What a ill-timed storm. Like, right after we have a raid... As we are running out of food, as everyone's moods are low, as everyone's wounded. Really not a good time. To also be throwing a fire. Like, fire's just all... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Run wild, Mooflet. Mooflet dwarf adventurer is fed up with civilization. She realized that wild creatures are always free. So she decided to leave your faction and live with the animals. You can attempt to tame her to get her back. She's ravenously hungry. Oh, God, no, sweet. You're the only tamer in the town. Sweet, you gotta get up. You gotta get up. The only person who can fix the walls to serve and doesn't go on mental breaks is on a mental break, and only you can save her, but you can't stand up. Oh, no, and now she's gonna get burned to death by all the fire. There goes all my wood. 
Because, you know, we didn't need any of that wood at all. Although I can grow it. People were mentioning that I just have to research tree growing in the, in the, uh, whatever it is. Insect meat is rotting out. There's the rain. Okay. Sweet. You ready to go, buddy? Don't worry about that axe cut through your skull. Hey, speaking of, I don't think I need my dwarves to be on bed rest too anymore. Because... They're so super good at blood filtration, I don't have to worry about them dying from infections and whatnot. Pretty much like 99% of the time. Need warm clothes, tattered apparel. Xavier and myself, or no, Clog and myself. Let's see what's up here. Dwarven tunic. Oh. Hey, we got the medieval mod now too. Maybe we can make some like medieval tunics and whatnot. I used to like the look of those things. Let's see, wooden hand tailor bench. Yeah, let's throw in one of those like there. Looks good. Pigs are just running inside eating our food. There's not much I can do about it. We still haven't got around to hauling the corpses yet. Everyone is super not in a good way right now. Oh, you know what I really need is joy. We have no joy sources yet. Um, let's put a, a pen in here, you know, just, just a nice game of stick toss. And then a, a chess table. Eventually, I'm going to destroy all these things and make them all out of stone. We'll put it down there, though, for now. Everything's going to be wood for now because we just don't have the time to go chopping stones. Especially without having Mooflet on the map at all anymore. Oh my god, did she take her pants off and throw them on the ground? Mooflet, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, why? She's like, animals don't need no pants. Kept her shirt on though. What the hell is this Swede? You're our only hope. Actually, maybe he's not. Maybe I don't need a good handler for this, right? Maybe I just need a handler. Clog's got a four. Although his mood is not good. Clog, what's your mood looking like? My wife, Karmis. Oh, that's wonderful, too. We also got Karmis thrown out here. Oh, good lord. By the way, what happened to Aloysius? Oh, he's still there rotting. Oh, the poor bear. The poor bear. We didn't even get to bury him. Okay, let's make a grave. This is going well. Let's make a temporary gravestone for him. Here. So we remembered to do something about this later. Kraus, you're gonna have to come over here. Prioritize working on this. Kraus, you can't, seriously, you can't even do that? I'm a little bit busy over there. I should probably let myself, you know what? Someone's gotta do this. If not Kraus, then Clog. Clog's over here to work with me as well. Oh my God, Clog gets hit by a lightning bolt. <laughs> the luck of Clog right now. His wife shows up in a raid, gets murdered, and then he gets hit by lightning. <laughs> oh my god. Good thing he's a dwarf. A lesser being would not have withstood that beating. <laughs> Both physically and mentally. Good luck. <laughs> As I'm staring directly at him. Thwap! Big lightning bolt hits him. That's amazing. Wow. Wow. Or that or it hit the tree next to him. Either way, the luck of Clog right now. Clog, please. He, construction immediately botched. I'm taking the grave. Clog, can you? Your moods are not good. I wonder if I could come down here. Or can I? Cannot prioritize. We'll never do hauling. Interesting. Now, I know you can bury animals. Oh, you know what I have to do in here? Is go to storage. Animal corpses. That's what I have to do. And then I think I can probably bury. Nope, still can't do it. I'll never do hauling. What about Clog? If I try to make him do this, he's going to go and prioritize. Hauling. Let's haul, let's haul Aloysius. I'm hoping into the grave. I hope Claude can make it all the way over there and back. He was going to go eat, but now we're sending on a major journey. Lightning bolts everywhere. Starvation abound. That's on Swede. Swede can't stand up. Someone's got to feed him. Uh, is anyone nearby? You know what? Let's come over here to prioritize feeding Swede. Kraus, if you wouldn't mind. Clog, you, 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 yeah, here we go. He's hauling Aloysius back. Dead, decaying, rotting Aloysius. Right into the grave. Eventually, we'll build him a sarcophagus and make him a little tomb. I was going to eat him, but it's too late now. Bam. All right. Well, that's one thing done. Hey, Sweet can stand up again. Yay. Sweet. Maybe I should wait for... I was going to send him down to do the animal thing right now. To go tame Mooflet again. But I'm kind of feeling like he might need to heal up a little bit. It's going to take a while. He seems more interested in getting work done, which is actually pretty good. 
Yeah, but probably... I guess it doesn't really hurt, right? Let's have Swede come down here and go melee attack move. No, I think we have to select her and go tame. There we go. And then Mooflet, if you wouldn't mind prioritizing... Or sorry, Swede, go tame Mooflet again. Maybe get her to get her pants back on, too. That would be fantastic. Here comes some random Skeletals. Sweet seems to be a little bit busy here. Relaxing socially. Not a bad idea, actually. Days on Sweet. <laughs> Alright, we'll get there. We'll get there. Hopefully, hopefully Mooflet's pants haven't rotted away yet. But we're rotted away by the time we get her. What a disaster this is. Disease malaria. How the heck did I get malaria? I'm a brewmaster. Brewmaster me wild man wanderer. What the heck? A person living among wild animals has wandered into the area. He's called Bluey. You can attempt to tame him. What the male wild human? Undergrounder lazy. That is I've never seen anything like that. Well, we're not gonna we don't want no humans in our colony. What a weird thing that is. All right. Huh. I didn't even know they could do that. In any event, I am just super happy. Like, I am ha it's like bug in a rug style happy right now. I do have malaria, though. So I might want to... I can't tend to myself. Swede can't tend to me. Clog probably is about to go on a mental break. He's busy out here hauling mega scarabs all over the universe. Seeing a million corpses in the process, which is not going to be good for his psyche, I'm sure. Clog, what's your deal? Watching the sunrise. Thank God. You need some recreation, friend. Your wife, Carnimus, died. Saw a bunch of corpses. Recreation deprived. There you go, buddy. Nice. Awful batter. Tattered apparel. Unsightly environment. Eight cooked insect meat. You know what? Let's do this. Clog, you're the best crafter in town, right? Let's get you tailoring. Oversmithing. Just briefly. Just get some paint. Oh, you actually have to make the table. Oopsie daisy. Didn't even think about that. Who can construct a table that's in the town? Looks like, well, Swede would have been the best. I'm the second best. Oh, good lord. All right, let's, let's have me tend to myself. I guess I'm going to use an herbal med. Okay, I'm sure we'll be fine with that. Let's have me go work on this bench because no one else in town can actually do it. Oh, what happened to all my blocks? What the heck? All my wooden things turned into four wood. That's weird. And then over here on the tailor's bench, let's see what we got. We've got jacket, duster. This is all default stuff. Pants. Dwarven tunic. There we go. Let's make a dwarven tunic until we have X. We'll make the X, of course, one. Um, can we make that at least 55 through 100% hit points? Do we have a, actually have an extra dwarven tunic someplace? Because according to this, we do. But I don't have a clue where it is. Where do we have a dwarven tunic? I think I have Rimworld search agency. Search search agency actually, but I'm not sure how to use it exactly. Storage shirt tunic. Dwarven tunic. Where? Where is it? I don't see it. How do we have? Well, anyway, we also need pants here. Do we have any dwarven pants? No. Doesn't look like it. Dwarven tunic. Then we have elf doll, elf cape, elf cape, Hobbit traveler's pack, Hobbit pants, Hobbit jacket, Hobbit cape, Hobbit shirt and vest, Hobbit dress. <laughs> if you guys want to have tea parties and play dress up, woo, install the Hobbits. You'll love them. If you want to crush infidels, dwarves are the way to roll. Let's see. Pants. 1-1. One, one. Where are these things coming from? Look at this guy down here now. Get up. Is he howling like a wolf? What the mooflet? What happened to you? Why? Where'd all your clothes go? What the hell? Oh god, that, that must be out of pants then. I don't know where the heck mooflet's tunic went, but she's just running around naked right now. <laughs> Swede, get off your mental break, friend. The town's going to hell. Oh lord, why do I have so many pigs? Probably because I haven't got them set up to eat yet. I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy. Wild man wanders. A person living in the wild has wandered into the air. She's called Balaban. Hey, Balaban. How many humans are they going to send? Wild humans. They're just going to murder them all because we hate the humans. Super immune trigger to happy crafter. No, thank you, Balaban. No, thank you. I will take a hard pass on that. Ooh, we can eat that insect jelly. 
Anyway, what's going on? How is this 35 minutes? I had one mission today. It was make weapons and grow food. Have we done either of those? Nope. Actually, we've, we've planted six roots, so we're off to the races. I am really curious what's up with me, though. Like, why am I still in bed here? Oh, I, I'm fully, I'm actually fully rested and going down on rest. There we go. Finally. Now I'm going to come up and feed insect jelly to Clog. Krause is out here. What is this? What the heck is this? Potato plant? Oh. Potato. I think I was planting potatoes there for some reason. I'm not sure even why. I think I might have done that as a test. Anyway, I'll just cancel that. I didn't mean to do that. All right, now, what am I going to do all night? I'm going to go back to bed. Why am I sleeping so much? Bed rest is on a four. It's so unnecessary. I guess it's malaria. I'm the only person in the whole town who can actually move, and I'm just going to stay in bed all the time. Clog, what's up with you? Also staying in bed all the time. 36 out of 40 in the torso. You got that burn? Getting that taken care of. Swede's just been out here wandering around for the longest time. I think this entire episode, Sweet has been incapacitated in one form or another. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Sweet. He lacks any weapon, really. Oh, I also uninstalled simple sidearms. Hey, Sweet has collapsed due to simple exhaustion. No longer watering in a psychotic state. Clog is fully healed. Yes, we're getting back into it, friends. Sweet's going to go eat some berries. Beautiful. Chompy, chompy. Nice. Eat a meal. We got four of those ready for you, Sweet. Boom. Now you're going to go take a nap. Probably makes sense because you had zero rest. Hell yes. Intense pain, tired. Aloysius died. How much longer until 13 more days on that? Haven't slept in a while, so you're drowsy. That's gone now. Unsightly environment. We were going to work on that, but I mean, it's not that easy, honestly. All right. Now, I finally woke up, and I'm going to rest. I woke up, moved over here. I think I harvested one plant and went back to bed. That malaria. You know what it... Yo, I know what it is. I'm assuming... For whatever reason, I just assumed bed rest 4 was the end. We actually want to put this on 9. I forgot. I'm so used to this from the last campaign being 1 through 4. There we go. Now I'm working on stuff. Okay. Sweet. Whenever you're done, get a full night's rest. What just happened? Oh! Bluey stepped on the trap! <laughs> the poor guy! Oh well, that's what happens. That's what happens. You don't run. Oh god, that's gonna happen to Mooflet too. Sweet, you gotta wake up. We need you. We need you to get Mooflet back in the colony. Come on, your mood's going up. Wreck. Wait a minute. Why is Swede's mood going? Oh, he's meditating in bed. Oh, smart move, Swede. All right, now you need to come down here, Swede, and get Mooflet back in the thing. Prioritizing taming Mooflet. Nice. She wanders into the corpse pile. That's gonna be great for Swede. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yo, right right into the back of it, too. Right into the back of it. Come on, sweet. Get Mooflet back in the colony. Here. Get her back in the colony. I don't even know what his ability to tame is. It's probably not very high with all the wounds. <laughs> She's gonna feed berries to Mooflet. Here you go, Mooflet. Come back and join the civilization, please. Here's a berry. You know, something you can't find in the wild. All by your onesies. Oh, new recruit. There we go. Mooflet's back. Please tell me that I don't have to mess with it. I do. Damn it, game. Ah, that is... that actually really sucks. Because now I've got to individually go through 9,000... Oh, wait, no. Wait a minute, what? It looks like it resets some of this stuff. But not all of it? Warden 11. Huh. Put that on a 2. I No, I think it... Hmm, I don't, I don't honestly know what happened there. The little animal handling was off. Negotiation was off. She wasn't a hunter. She was a constructor. Yeah, it, it definitely reset at least some of these things. Now, as I recall, I wanted her to not build the root. It's too late now because I think we've already built them. So let's just copy all the profiles here. I did want to make sure we had smoothing a little bit higher on her. So we'll leave that on a four. Mining should be a little bit further back. I think we were going to take her off plant cutting. I think... She was, oh, yeah, the, oh, wow. She's got to do all this hauling and clean. Oh, she was the crafter, right. So we'll put that up to like a seven. We'll just get tailoring and smithing off completely. And then we got to, I probably should have just cloned her over, but whatever.
All right. And I think that's pretty good. A little bit annoying that that happens that way, but... And now hopefully she goes to get her pants at some point. I don't know. Beautiful. Mufla, where did you go? You're up here. You know what? If you want to go equip that door of an axe, Clog, you're right there, right? You just grab an axe. Actually, that one was kind of broken. Grab this one instead. Beautiful. Who else doesn't have one? Swede? You're over here. Do you want to grab this one? Just perfect. Everyone should have a weapon now. Nope. Krauss doesn't have one, but we'll we'll give him this awesome Dwarven one over there. 98%. That looks fantastic. Why is my medkit being salted? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. Now Clog is doing crafting and oh, you know what? I don't think we have materials for the bench. Oh, Krauss, come over here and equip this axe. So now everyone's got a melee weapon of some sort. Yes, indeed. Mooflet needs to find some clothes. I'm actually asleep on top of the bed, which is... Oh, it says I'm smoothing floor. Oh, I thought I was asleep on the bed, but no, I'm actually smoothing the floor, trying to make that place look a little bit better. We're, we're down to literally zero food right now, so someone has to go hunting. And that's supposed to be Swede, but I wanted to make armor and whatnot if he's going to go melee hunting. Swede, are you, are you even able to stand up, friend? Maybe I should go hunting for a... Well, I am also the chef of this town, so... Hmm. Open up construction. Two, two, two. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Let's get that back to a four, four, four for me. Because I'm supposed to be the cook. I've got to find some food. Like, right now. We're super, super, super out of food. I'm going to have to hunt. And I'm the only one who can do it, I think. Ooh, how about alpacas? Yeah? Let's hunt those. Let's get Swede off of it for now. And let's put me on hunting on a two, actually. And see how I do. There we go. Okay, hunting an alpaca. See how this works out. Hey, buddy! Melee! Hunt! Yeah, they do fight back, like, immediately. I guess that's the downside to melee hunting. <laughs> Look, it can't, it can't hurt me with all my arm. <laughs> it's trying to nose punch me. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Bruise, alpaca. I got bruised in the leg. Oh, my shield! Why is my shield on the ground? Wow, it's on a 19%. No way. Wow, that alpaca. Oh, there we go. I got him. Wow, 19 Why didn't I bring the corpse back? Now I'm tending to myself. There should be a corpse pile over here. Specific. Oh. What happened to that corpse pile? Oh, we don't have a pile down here. I must have put the wrong kind of zone in there at some point. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, this is supposed to be... Oh, I had tunic. Whoops. My, my mistake. Do not allow rotten. No chunks. No corpses. Animal corpses. Critical. Okay, I don't know if that was set up like that. The tunic thing was just maybe throwing me off. I should have brought it back. Whoa! Self-harm on Clog. No! He can't handle it! His wife, Karim, has died, and he got struck by lightning. He's not long for this world, friend. It, is, it has begun the downward death spiral of literal self-inflicted death. After all the effort we put into surviving, poor Clog is just going to wander around and try to do himself in. Luckily, he won't die from infection, so we don't have to worry about that. It's pretty much impossible to kill yourself as a dwarf, it would seem. Ooh. Kraus is out here planting dandelions. Nice. Super nice, actually. Okay. Mooflet, why aren't you putting your clothes on? Where did your shirt go, by the way? Oh, it's right there. Okay, that's it. Mooflet, you know what? If you want to come down here, force where the door into... Why is Bala been eating our corn? What the heck is this? Mooflet, come over here, force where these pants. Then let's come over here and clear all those forced things. And then someone's got to get rid of this this balabin. No more human rogues eating our crops. Just like the dastardly rats that you are. Get out of here. Get out of our crops. Stop eating the crops. What the heck are they doing? No, they just harvested our crops. Can you believe that? Human revenge. <laughs> nice job, Kraus. Thank you. <laughs> Replant those crops for us. <laughs> what the heck? Mmm, racial purity, friends. Dwarven racial purity. 
That's what it's all about in this episode. Why does every episode of Brimworld feel like so improper? By the way, what did I say about food? I think I killed an alpaca and then forgot about it. Did I even butcher it? Well, I brought it down here. Now I'm tending to myself out here. Why? I'm hunting an alpaca. Why? Oh, because I went to go hunt three of them. Hmm. Here's an idea. How about I butcher instead? Did I just go on a mental break from paranoia, from intense pain, from all the melee hunting? <laughs> and now I can't butcher the, the, the alpaca. And we've got zero food. Whew. All right. Well, we got pigs for a reason, right? We got pigs for a reason. Sorry, Turbo. I know you're a named piglet, but honestly, it's time to eat you. I don't know who's going to kill you. I don't know how we're going to make this a thing. I don't even know who can cook at this point. Maybe Swede. Yeah, Swede can be our backup cook. Swede's going to have to actually be in a cook on a, on a four here. This is ridiculous. Swede is just holding the colony together, even though he spent the entire day, like, outside of the colony. Oh, wait a minute. We actually have some amount of stuff here. Can we prioritize cooking really quick? Cooking simple meal. Where are you going? To get the corn? Okay, let's, let's haul all the corn instead. You know what? Let's set up a very quick stockpile zone here, since I haven't got one already. I think they drop it down into the right, so up into the left. This is where we can put our vegetables, and that's where we can put our meat. So, clear all priority critical. Vegetables. Clear all priority critical. Meat. Allow rotten. No. Same deal on that one. Rotten off. Awesome. Starvation on Clog now. Clog, you still... Yeah, he's still out there just bleeding. He's just waiting for the end. We won't let it come for him. Oh, he's still trying to do himself and you can hear him. It's like slapping himself on the wrist with a whip or something. Who knows? Very monetizable, these episodes. Swede, what are you up to now? Melee hunting seems like pretty crazy. Like really damaging. Swede seems to be cooking meals one at a time. That's weird because we had the thing right there the whole time. Well... Anyway, we staved off star- I'm gonna un un alert Sweet here. We staved off starvation at least for a day. Hopefully soon. Okay, Clog, what happened to you? Someone's gonna come out there and save you. Do oh, no you don't! Am I done? I'm butchering. Rescue Clog. Uh, hello? I- This is insane. Clog is resting. Clog cannot walk. No. 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 Why? Why can I rescue him? Well, he can't walk. It says he's resting. Death in one hour. Can't tend to him. I don't understand. I should be... No, Claude, you're not dying. Not on my watch. No! I just said it's impossible for a dwarf to do this. I just said it. I just said it. Why can't I save him? I'm right there. What the heck? I don't get it. We've got beds. No one's using the bed. I should be able to just straight up tend to him. What is our... We don't have any heal roots. I've never experienced this in my entire life. All right, here's a new idea. Sometimes this game just makes me furious when stuff like this happens and I don't understand what's going on. There's a medical bed. Okay, now I can... Re <laughs> what the heck was that? Why couldn't I bring him up there? What was wrong with that bed? Prioritize. Cannot finish off. Already tending to clog. Where am I going? No, I don't have time to go down there. Okay, clog. No meds. Now I'm tending to him in the face. Oh god, death in 0.8 hours. Clog, we're not gonna let you die! No! I'm gonna buy you hold your blood in! Hold it! 
Hold it! Oh god! Quality 10, 0%! No! No, Clog, no! 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 Clog! 0.2! 9! 8! 7! No! How is this possible? Clog! <sighs> Clog. You were the blacksmith of the town for five minutes, and now you're gone. Inconceivable. Well, I started the episode with one goal, make weapons. <laughs> By the end of the episode, we got no weapons, and the blacksmith's dead. When's are you returning? We try to make weapons again. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. His wife, Karamis, died, and he got struck by lightning. He's not long for this world, friend. It, is, it has begun the downward death spiral of literal self-inflicted death. After all the effort we put into surviving, Poor Clog is just gonna wander around and try to do himself in. Luckily, he won't die from infections, so you don't have to worry about that. It's pretty much impossible to kill yourself as a dwarf, it would seem.